Hello friends, today's topic is Father to Son. This is a poem included in the syllabus of class 11th English core. The poem is composed by Elizabeth Jennings. Elizabeth Jennings, let's talk about the poet first, introduction to the poet. She was an American poet and if we talk of her lifespan, she was born in 1926 and died in 2001. She was famous as the bag lady of sonnets among his companions. Other poems to refer, her other poems were relationships, growing points and lucidities. The main theme of the poem is generation gap. Now the question arises what the generation gap is. Generation gap. The gap which generates between the people of two generations just because of the difference of their thoughts, perception and changing social values. It ultimately affects their relationship. In this poem, a father expresses his helplessness for not being able to understand his child. Let's talk of the poem now. This will be stanza wise paraphrasing. First three lines. I do not understand this child, though we have lived together now in the same house for years. The father in the poem expresses his anguish for his son by saying that they both have been living in the same house for many years, yet he does not understand his son. I know nothing of him, so try to build up a relationship from how he was when small. The father says that as he does not know anything of him, so he tries to build a loving and good relationship with him, the same as he used to have with him when he was an infant. Yet have I killed the seed I spent or sown it where the land is his and none of mine. Uh, this particular stanza is the most typical one and if you uh, refer to many of the resources you will be finding many explanations of this particular uh, these particular three lines. The father questions whether he himself is responsible for this situation. If you look at the last line uh, there is a question mark so definitely he is asking a question either to himself or to readers. Whether the relationship is killed or he has pushed his, his child into that world where everything belongs to him and nothing is of him, this, this separate world of his child pinches him. We speak like strangers. There is no sign of understanding in the air. The child is built to my design. Yet what he loves, I cannot share. Silence surrounds us. We. Here this word we refers to the father and the son. According to the father, they speak like strangers. There is no understanding between both of them. The child looks like him, yet they both cannot share the same thing. Because of the lack of communication, there is silence all around them. I would have him prodigal returning to his father's house, the home he knew, rather than see him make and move his world. I would forgive him too, shaping from sorrow a new love. According to the father, he is waiting for his son to return to his home like the prodigal son. Now what this prodigal son is, this is actually uh, referred in a story that a story has been taken from Bible. The reference of the prodigal son has been taken from Bible, a father having two sons. The younger demanded for share in property. The father granted the share but the son expended all the money and returned empty handed to father. His father forgave him. So just like that prodigal son, he is ready to forgive him. According to this helpless father, he also will forgive his son. His son has not gone anywhere. He is at home only. But he has made his different world in the home itself. He wants him to return to his father's world. He promises that he will shape this sorrow into a new love. 
father and son we both must live on the same globe and the same land he speaks i cannot understand myself why anger grows from grief we each put out an empty hand longing for something to forgive the father says that they both have to live on the same land yet what his son says he cannot understand because their perception is different their way of thinking is quite different he cannot understand himself why this grief converts into anger he cannot understand uh, here it is written myself it should be himself he cannot understand himself why this grief converts into anger we both have to do something means they both have to do something the father and son both have to do something we shall not gain anything from this current situation means they will not gain anything from this situation there will not be anything in future except the guilt of forgiving each other so he is just asking his son to unite with him to be with him uh, lest it should get late because after that there will be nothing other than repenting so let's talk about the literary devices used in the poem first the seed i spent out sown it this is alliteration alliteration is the repetition of consonant sounds given at the beginning of the words here in this line you can see the seed sir spent sir sown sir this sir sound is clear cut indicating towards the alliteration present here here the second one we speak like strangers this is again alliteration sir sir sound is there s and s we speak sir stranger sir again this is alliteration so for alliteration it is mandatory to have consonant sound we speak like strangers again the same example but this time uh, with a different literary device this is simile so we speak like stranger their conversation is being compared with the conversation of strangers this is simile number 4 silence surrounds us this sir sir sound again this is creating alliteration here now talk about let's talk about important extracts and questions the first question what anguish does the father express what is the reason of his anguish of course the reason of his anguish is generation gap and that generation gap is supposed to be uh, described or elaborated in this uh, the answer of this particular lesson why does the silence surround the father and the child because the loss of the communication is there they cannot understand each other they do not talk to each other they do not speak to each other what does the father want from his son the father wants uh, the reunion he makes a promise also to be in the same loving mode as he was in his, at the time of his infancy and uh, he says that they both have to live on the same land so why not with love important extract sounds also there as you know that uh, three marks question uh, three or four marks question is there of extract so these extracts are important uh, you can prepare them thank you for watching please like and share and subscribe my youtube channel dk english pathshala thank you again